Allison with Carolyn Nussbaum Music Company, and today we're going to talk about Lafrique Sound Bridges. So just in case you don't know what the Lafrique Sound Bridge is yet, the Lafrique Sound Bridge bridges the frequency-dependent resistance of the joints so your tone can move freely through the material of the instrument. Because most woodwind instruments have at least two segments, when a sound bridge is placed where those segments meet, the added density of the metal enables the instrument to respond as if it were one fluid tube or even better. A lot of musicians wonder what the benefit of these little devices are, and many are surprised to hear exactly how many qualities of playing are improved by the sound bridge. When you outfit your instrument with a Lafreak sound bridge, you'll notice pure overtones, accurate tuning, clear response, smooth intervals, surround projection, and extended dynamics. To put it simply, it takes your instrument to a higher level, making it respond and play like a model that is much more advanced without having to pay the price for a brand new upgraded instrument. The Lafreak sound bridge comes in many different sizes and materials. The rule of thumb is that you should use at least a quality Lafreak that equals the material of your instrument or better. For example, if I play on a flute with a silver tube, then I need to use a sound bridge that's at least a silver bass. There are a variety of different materials to choose from depending on what sound you want to achieve and which fits best for your instrument. The different bridges available in increasing densities are made of brass, red brass, silver plated red brass, gold plated red brass in both yellow and rose gold, solid silver, gold plated solid silver in both yellow and rose gold, solid gold in many different carat options, and platinum. Lafreaks also come in a variety of sizes so that you can get the size most suited for your instrument. Here at Carolyn Nussbaum Music Company, we're flute specialty, so for the purposes of this video, I'll only be demonstrating 41mm Lafreaks, which is the size recommended for the head joint connection of the flute, and 33mm Lafreaks, which is the size recommended for the crown and foot joint of the flute, or the size recommended for piccolo. So let's get into some demonstrations so you can hear the difference for yourself that a sound bridge makes. For the demonstration, I'm going to start with a 41 millimeter solid silver Lafrique on the connection of the head joint to the body. I'm going to be playing on this lovely Muramatsu GX Heavy Wall, which has silver tubing and silver plated keys, so I should really feel a difference whenever I outfit this thing with a Lafrique. Putting the Lafrique on for the first time may be a little bit confusing, but I'm here to help, so here's a little step by step on how to easily put the Lafrique on your instrument. So, Assembling the Lafrique. First, we need our band. This band is an ultimate 70 millimeter, which is the side you would, size you would use for your flute, and it's ultimate band, so it has the rubber stoppers. These bands are available in black, silver, and yellow or rose gold. We're using one of the gold ones now so that you can really see the difference on the flute. Okay, so we're going to start by using these fingers, pointer and middle and your thumb. I'm left-handed, so don't let that confuse you. Pick up the band this way so that the plastic bead is right in front of your thumbnail, like that. And then you pick up the Lafrique like that. So if this were on, on the stand, I would pick it up from the middle. So the band is kind of surrounding it, so you're controlling it with one hand. Okay, and then I'm going to place it on the body of my flute and then get out of the way. And it goes where there are no holes on the body, where the, where the body is the most free. So that's about where I want it. Make sure that the little knobs on the Lafrique are the ones on the top. That's really important. The ones with the little notches in them go on the top. Okay, so we're holding it nice and steady here. I'm going to reach around and grab it from right there and then just stretch it over the plastic bead. And when you have these ultimates, two of those beads, actually four, two for each side, go on the actual freak. And this is all to protect the body of your flute. There. So first, I'm going to play a popular excerpt without the Lafrique. And then I'll put this little guy back on and see if I can hear and feel a difference. So this is without a 41 millimeter solid silver Lafrique, just, just a flute. Okay, I'm gonna play some of Fox Badinere from his orchestral suite in B minor. I still have this 
glued, but I bet I can make it even better by adding that Lafrique. So I'm gonna add that one. Grabbing it by two fingers. I'm gonna pick it up with the same hand. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the side of the body that is the most free, and then just stretch that over the rubber bead, plastic bead. We're set up. Okay, so the same thing with the Lafrique. I'm excited. a difference hopefully you heard a difference so I really like this one because I could control my intonation like so much easier than without a la freak and my articulation felt more immediate more crisp um, I feel like I could get more projection and that's all just with this 41 millimeters of solid silver added to the body playing with the silver la freak after not having it on made a world of difference in the way the flute responded to me my articulation felt more immediate, more crisp. I felt like I could get more projection without fear of overblowing, and I could control my intonation so much easier than without the Lafrique. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go up a level in materials now and try rose gold plated solid silver with the same excerpt. So we'll see how the rose gold plated solid silver differs from the solid silver. better than the solid silver because I felt and heard the warmth of the gold and I still got the crisp articulation response from the solid silver being the base. So I'm going to keep this one on. This is personally the one that I use on my own flute, a 41 millimeter rose gold plated solid silver. But keep in mind that the solid gold and even platinum options are available and we carry them right here at Carol and Espa Music Company. So now that I've chosen the right look freak for this connection of my flute, I'm going to play with the other options. So the first one I want to experiment with is the crown right here between, well, it's between the crown and the lip plate and it's right where the cork is. So the size for that that they recommend is 33 millimeter. I'm going to use a 33 millimeter solid silver and I'm going to use the regular band. It has none of the plastic knobbies on it, but it's easier to put on, just doesn't give you the same level of protection. So one finger for this one because the 33 millimeter is really small. I'll pick it up with the same hand. Okay, and then I'm going to put it on the side of the flute that has no holes, just like with the other one. Okay, there. So now I have two freaks on my flute. A rose will play in solid silver, which will give me the warmth of the gold, and then solid silver up here by the crown, which I don't know how it's going to react. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to play the same excerpt with two freaks. immediate impressions. I can really like feel the resonance of the flute, which is very interesting. So I feel like I can be really loud and I can't tell much about the articulation. So let's see what the excerpt. Here's the bottom area with two freaks. Definitely. I think I was probably louder, but it was maybe a little bit harder to control. I'm not sure if because it's so close to the lip plate or not. I think I would definitely like to use this if I needed to be loud in a concert band or in a recital with a really loud piano piece. I would definitely try try the Lip Freak on the crown. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, so there's one more option. We can have up to three Lip Freaks on this instrument. And I'm going to zoom in for the next part because it's going to be on the connection from the body to the foot joint. And there's lots of mechanism stuff going on there. So we'll zoom in so you can know exactly how to put it on. Okay, so here's a good angle for me to show you how the foot joint Le Freak works. So the band is a little bit different. I'll show you here. Let's see, where's my camera? There it is. 
Okay, so you see the plastic thing in the middle there? You have to focus. There. That can move, so you can put it where you need it. I think it's easiest to put it kind of right in the middle because your fingers are going to straddle that when you put it on. Like so. Okay, refocus on the flute. Okay, so that little plastic part there needs to go pretty much between the key and the rod here. Try not to squeeze your mechanism. Okay, and I'm going to use for this one, leave that resting right there. I'm going to use a yellow gold plated solid silver 33 millimeter lift freak. Okay, let's grab this back and we're going to put it on the exact same way. On the side where there are no holes, try not to squeeze the mechanism. There we go. Okay, and what's really important about the foot joint connection is the band because as you can see, it's really close to this key here. And if you don't put it on the right way, your key's not going to close, which is what I discovered whenever I was first trying to figure this out. So it may take a minute to get it set up, but it's worth it in the end. You just wanna make sure that you can still close your keys. Yep. And there's still a freak on the foot joint. We have three different connections here. Crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna back back up and play the same excerpt, see if you can tell the difference. So here's our favorite excerpt once again with three La Freaks. First impressions on tone, lots of resistance, maybe too much for me, but I'm still gonna play through this and see how it sounds. Lots of projection though, and I think it's a good sound. I'll just have to get used to it. So here's the button area. supported a little bit more because I expected that resistance and it totally worked. It felt like a completely different flute and to get it to sound this way, I didn't have to spend thousands of dollars on a brand new flute. So yeah, I mean, I've got this flute completely decked out in the freaks, but if I wanted, I could only use the foot joint connection or only the middle connection or only the crown. It's whatever you like for what you're playing at that time. I hope this video has been helpful for you. I really stand by this product and I use my own Le Freak sound bridge every single time I play. I know that it could help you too. Keep in mind it's not only for students, it's not only for lower than professional flutes. Professional flutists like Jim Walker, Emmanuel Pahud, they're Le Freak artists and they use these when they perform all over the world. It's important for you to experiment with the different materials, the different places you can put it on your instrument to see what works best for you. Lucky for you, we offer trials on our Lafreaks just like we do on our instruments here at Carol and Nussbaum Music Company. Just give us a call, shoot us an email, contact us through our website, and we'll arrange a trial for you with a variety of different options so that you can try them out before you commit to a purchase. Please like and subscribe to Carol and Nussbaum Music Company, and don't forget to enable your post notifications so that you can see all of our new content. Links to Lafreaks on our website are provided in the description below. Thank you so much for joining me today.